What's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, Mr. Knock One Down. And I won't be hunting today, but I'll be working on some shelving. I got some rough um, sawn lumber, uh, inch thick red oak that I'm going to make um, into shelves. So um, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> I put the tape around so I don't stain a large surface of the wood. Just only close to the board, I let it sit overnight. Then I sand it down. So I'm gonna fill this up until it run over slightly. And then I'll, I'll let it sit. If I get any air bubbles in, I'll take my torch and heat it and make the bubbles dissipate. These are gonna be um, shelves for a gentleman's home there that I'm preparing, so just ran through the planer earlier, finished them up on the drum sander, and next I'll um, hand sand them to about maybe 220 grit, and um, I'll apply a coat of black, black cherry stain. Now I'm gonna use my torch just to wave over it to get the little fine air bubbles out. And this is day number two. I'm um, still working on the, the shelving. Uh, red oak. Right now I'm sanding it down to 120 grit. On last night, I ran it through my um, drum sander, which is 80 grit paper on it. And I'm just taking out the roughness from that 80 grit with 120 or 150 grit sandpaper. Um, I've already put a chamfered routed edge on both sides in the front. And I sanded front and back. That's the first board. So, um, we're moving on and finish sanding up the other four, the other three. And um, yesterday, <clears throat> I mixed up some epoxy. I don't know if I didn't get my mixture right, but um, it didn't take too well. I'll let you take a look at that. As you can see, <clears throat> I had to dig out that old epoxy. So what I'm going to do is mix up, mix up another batch and um, backfill it. So, hey, sometimes in projects, things happen like that. It kind of set you back. But it didn't stop me from um, putting my router edge on all three sides. So um, I just tape around this void, refill it, and it's just gonna, on a delay, it's gonna be from um, staining it. I was hoping that it would be done today when I woke up, and I can um, go ahead and sand this smooth and you know sand it smooth and go ahead and stain it but hey it is what it is and now i got everything sand down to 120 grit that's about the lowest grit i'm gonna go uh, it's just gonna be shelves i got all the corners um sanded and i got the two outer edges in the front of the shelves um chamfered with um chamfer bit there so i'm getting ready to apply a coat of stain um, to one of the boards and let you guys take a look at it. All of them sanded actually, but three out of the four are ready to be stained because I got a re epoxy that void that um, didn't adhere for overnight. 
from the first epoxy. So what I'm using is a um, uh, general finish, water-based wood stain. It's black cherry. So um, that's what I'll be applying. And this, this um, stain is going to kind of match the, the um, curio cabinet, uh, china cabinet that's um, in the gentleman's home where the shelves will be uh, located near. So we're going to get at this. Start on the outer board first. First coat applied and let that dry. <clears throat> Take me a lunch break. I just sanded these down in between coats. This is my second coat of stain. I'll let that dry. And I'll flip them over and maybe stain the other side a second time. I've sanded them on both sides already. But I'm still waiting on that one. I had to re-epoxy it. I don't know if my epoxy has just uh, been in the garage too long or what, but um, I did the one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm hoping this does the trick. If not, I'm gonna have to order some more epoxy. Um, I decided to go with a Caribbean blue to fill that knot this time instead of the um, dark gray. So if I can get this to be hard by in the morning, I'll be on schedule. So maybe I might go to the guy's house tomorrow and go ahead and and um, mount the brackets. So after after this dry, after all four boards are coated and dried, I'll spray it with my finished sprayer with some um, um, lacquer, some water-based lacquer for the interior projects. And my new telescopic um, laser mount came in which is also good I can mount my phone on it too and do pictures and these are your micro adjustments here once you get it close to where you want it you can fine-tune it with this I ordered that off Amazon and that's one two three poles I got another pole and what you could do is um, with the other pole, I have a button that go on the top of the last pole, and you can mount it. You can, you know, make it butt up against the ceiling to where it's firm and not moving, and then you can do your fine tuning, shoot your laser beam or whatnot, and hang your pictures or whatever you you building. To where you would need a laser to get a perfect level line. And it comes with this and one on the bracket also. So now I remove the phone holder and put the laser on there, and that's pretty much how it works. So you got your laser beam perpendicular. And 
in your horizontal. And that fine tune adjustment works like this. I want to bring it up. As you can see, the line went up. Then you can lock it in place with this knob here. Or if you need to make a major adjustment, you just, you know, this is tighten and loosen it. And then you just slide it up the pole like so. Clamp it down. Now you see where the beam, the beams are. So if I want to bring it down, then I'll just bring it down. I'm rotating the knob here. That simple. It's a nice little setup. I'm excited. I think I spent about $79 for this this setup, the pole. The laser was probably a little over 100 bucks at Lowe's. I find it very useful. Y'all stick with me, don't go anywhere. This project is far from over. I want you guys to be the first one to see the finished product besides the homeowner. Hey, I'm back, man. This is day three working on these shelves and I'm down to um, putting a clear coat on them. And this is the type of lacquer I like to use. Um, it's an outstanding lacquer for indoors uh, from Sharon Williams. Um, let you guys take a look at it. This is the Sherwood Cab Acrylic Lacquer, medium rub. Medium rub meaning it's not a real um, high sheen finish. And it's an um, acrylic lacquer. Uh, it's not, it doesn't yellow your um, wood over time, and it, it's not a pre-catalyzed lacquer where you have to um, add a catalyst to the lacquer to um, make it do what it do. And with those pre-catalyzed lacquers, they um, have a shelf life. That's one of the reasons why I like this particular lacquer here. It doesn't have a shelf life. But yeah, let me take you guys out here let you take a look at what we got this is my last board that I was staining I'm using a um, black cherry stain by uh, general finish and this is the part why I had to um, fill in the board there with with my um, epoxy it was the third try. I don't know if the epoxy I have is bad. So I'm going to let that dry. And then I'll flip it over and give the other side a stain. Let it dry. And it'll be ready for me to um, shoot it. That is my finish sprayer. It's Q5 Platinum Fusion Sprayer. Finish sprayer. Man, that thing is A1. You can't get a good finish with that. It's not the machine. It's the individual. I got my first coat. The sun is so bright, you can't really see the effects of it, but I just shot it with a coat of that, of that lacquer. And as you can see, it's not too shiny. Slightly, but not enough. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then I shoot it again until I get the look that I'm trying to achieve. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how everything is going. Yeah, stay tuned.
just finished wearing the bottom sides. So as you can see, it's not a high sheen. Like I said, it's a medium rub. Let's take a look at the finish on these shells. It's red oak, same with black cherry, a general finish. Got an epoxy in the void there, a little small void there. Getting ready to wrap them up. And have and install them probably on tomorrow or Saturday. Well, tomorrow is Saturday, but yeah, probably Sunday more than likely. Just wanted to show you guys a view of the finished product. That's um, General Finish Black Cherry on Red Oak. Got a chamfer edge on three sides. Those will be the, that'll be the side that's facing outward. Hey guys, I'm in the customer's house. We just finished installing the shelving that I've been working on for the last three days. And um, it's been an experience. But overall, I think everything worked out fine. Everything came together fine. I'm going to switch this camera around here in just a second. And let you guys take a look. Bam! There we go. Black cherry stain by General Finish. You ought to throw the brackets um, on online. I think it come from Amazon, right? Amazon. Yeah, Amazon brackets. They love them in a quarter um, from front to back. So we cut the shelves at 11 and an 8. Just so we don't have any hiccups. But the customer is satisfied. And I'm satisfied. So... I'm getting ready to get out of here. Chris, it's been a pleasure, man. Same, man. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, that, that, that's him in the background, man. Good fellow, man. I met him at the Groves Elementary, and uh, he purchased a cutting board from me. And he asked me about some shelving, and I told him, that's normally something I don't do is go in people's homes and install and normally build and give it to them. But for whatever reason, I took him up on his offer, and here we go. You guys seen the finished product? So it's your boy, Mr. Knock One Down, chasing tails outdoors, doing a little woodworking instead of hunting today. So, hey, y'all be careful out there. God bless. Peace.